Section 4.7, Isosceles and Equilateral Triangles. So let's do a brief recap. What is an isosceles triangle? Well, isosceles triangle has at least two congruent sides. While an equilateral triangle has all three congruent sides. This means that every equilateral triangle can also be classified as isosceles but not every isosceles triangle is equilateral. So an equilateral triangle is always isosceles, but an isosceles triangle is sometimes equilateral. Let's focus first on the isosceles triangle. With an isosceles triangle, make sure you do have this drawing. The two congruent sides are called the legs. The non-congruent side is the base. The angle in between the two legs is our vertex angle. While the other two angles are our base angles. And those are the four parts of an isosceles triangle. Make sure that you understand these new terminology because we'll be using them in the next theorem. Theorem 4.7, the base angle theorem, tells us that if we have a triangle, if two sides of those tri that triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite them, so the angle opposite this side is this angle, the angle opposite this side is this angle. So the angles opposite those two congruent sides There we go. Are also congruent. So if AB is congruent to BC, then angle A is congruent to angle C. We're going to use that new knowledge to work through example one. In example one, you're given two different drawings of triangles. In both of them, I want you to find the values for x and y. Take a moment, work this out on your own. When you're ready, resume the video, and you can check your solutions.